If you have a good mastery of CSS, then you should be able to build websites with good layouts by positioning elements using different CSS properties, which you know so far. This includes floating, positioning, etc. In the old days, web developers used to use even tables to lay out their website's content. Now, imagine that you've got a green div like this one, which you want to center both horizontally and vertically inside your web page or inside a container in your website. So that whatever the dimensions of your container are, this div always stays centered both horizontally and vertically. Well, this is something you could do using CSS properties you know so far. But the problem here is that it's going to involve quite a lot of time, especially when you want to do the vertical alignment. There is a new concept brought up by the CSS Working Group who came up with a box model called the CSS Flexible Box Layout Module which is known as Flexbox. Now using Flexbox you can create some amazing layouts with only a few lines of CSS without having to recourse to old methods which could be very time consuming. So to solve a problem like this using Flexbox, you could use only one line of code. So using Flexbox, you can create a container and inside your container, you can have flexible items which you can size and align as you wish. And you can do all of this using easy to use properties. So this is one of the common problems that can be solved using Flexbox by writing a single line of code. So for example, in this website, you can center this input and this search button perfectly, both horizontally and vertically inside this green box. You can also make your website flexible and responsive using Flexbox. You can make these two sidebars get stuck one on top of the other in small screens using Flexbox as well. You can create a responsive form like this one using Flexbox so that the comments section goes underneath these elements in small screens just like this. Using Flexbox you can also make sure the submit button is always pushed all the way to the bottom of your browser. You can also create an image gallery like this one using Flexbox. So when you reduce the width of your browser, the number of columns will decrease until you get only one column like this. So in this chapter, you're going to learn Flexbox and master it to the point where you're going to feel comfortable building advanced layouts and you're going to be building examples like these ones in the next coming videos. So hopefully you are now excited and ready to dive into the Flexbox experience which is going to start in the next video.